Let her rip. Okay. Oh, so close. Here we go, guys. Just, just for reference, this uh, this hoop is regulation height. It's just me and that door there are both extra tall. So, see this right here, guys. This, uh, I'm sure you guys. Any long time watchers, diligent viewers, will remember this unit. This is Dad's side. Call it a side by now because that's what my uh, little girl called it when she was little, and those names tend to stick. But complete catastrophic, catastrophic engine failure in this, and those 570, uh, 570 engines, and those are known to be bulletproof and low maintenance and trouble free, but just destroyed. I haven't seen the inside of the engine yet. I'll see if I can get down to my brother's, he's the one who picked down the engine. See if I can get down and show you guys. but catastrophic we're gonna do some shop here some uh, shop work knife work here today I'll take you guys along then tomorrow dad and I are going on road trip to pick up another bike for him so we'll uh, we'll take you guys along later in this video but shop work first Something cool we're doing here, guys, for Erica from Not Your Average EDC, or uh, I'll post the name there now. She's different on uh, Instagram and YouTube there now. I believe she uh, changed her name up, but really cool. We're doing a bake apple with a, with a high flat grind there. Sweet little liner set up and some beautiful curly maple. We'll see if we can get these ground in to show you later today. Here we are, guys. Completed work on that bake apple for Erica, and look at that finish beautiful airbrush sheath you can see we have those nice burnished edges and this will conclude the work for today now that we've got enough work done we can move on to the play portion so we're heading on the road but have a look at this saber ground bake apple just gorgeous figuring here on that piece of curly maple those sweet liners look at that blue pops in there what a great great EDC knife this makes even a great in a hunting scenario a skinning or caping scenario just an awesome all-around knife There's a there's a bake apple in Just about every country of the world. I would say it's just pretty exciting. So hope Erica enjoys it on to the road trip first you can check out uh, Shop for your very own bake apple at KyleKnowsWithAid.com She cold and wet here this morning guys it is 5 a.m. right now and we are just about to start rolling wheels here you're seeing see all those glimmer shadows rainy morning rain is pouring down here now nasty but uh, hopefully it'll clear up on the way
Well guys, we're a little over an hour from home. Flat. Ah. Here we go guys. Really, uh, really lost. So here's the deal guys, we drove almost as far as we did to get the flatbed. Same side of the island, basically same location, but this time the flat deck trailer and uh, threw the bike on. And like I said, we're back now to about hour and 15 or so from home and just blew a tire. We got a spare there, spare's in rough shape as well, but we'll see. Just coming on the pour, guys. Just left the, the station. I'm just coming on pouring rain here. Got your first roadside flat? No. I've had several. What was the worst one? You have worst a bad one? one? Post car or anything like that? No. I never had nothing like that. No. I say my worst one was a, in a Camaro. Details on a Camaro. Camaro was 1979 Camaro with a 305 automatic. She was a gold color. Gorgeous car. Beautiful. Mine and mom's first car. Camaro? Yep, that we bought. Yep. What do you mean your first car as a married couple? Yep. Mine wasn't that cool. <laughs> Mine was the Ford Focus, I think. That was back in, uh, oh, I would say it's probably around 85, 86, 1985, 86. I was on my way to Bayvert from Middle Arm and it was all gravel road then, except for Bayvert Road itself, but Burnton Road was all gravel. And of course, once you get used to the gravel, you still click it off 80 and 90 kilometers. And uh, I lost a back wheel, it just blew. I guess a sharp rock went up through it. So by the time I got stopped, needless to say, it wasn't anything left. So, but didn't go off the road, didn't move.